make sure you get the roots up, bro. No, just pull the top off. Look, you just didn't pull the top off. What do you mean? That's the roots. Make sure you get the roots up. Look, your boss is coming over here. Double. Hey, make sure he does a good job. It's kid nowadays. Bro, my hair, bro. <laughs> Hi, today we're gonna be forging a farrier rasp knife. No. <laughs> Join me on today's episode. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> so that was just, that piece right there was just one. 12 inch by two inch by a little shy of a quarter inch piece of 8670. This morning woke up early. Fajam. Fajam with fire. <laughs> Like, cookers is a weird thing. Like when I went and trained under Jason Knight to do these cookers, like it's all about the line work. Like it's function for sure, um, but it's the line. And cookers, what people don't realize is like, you got to use um, this side of your hammer to make it wide. <laughs> it's not for decoration. <laughs> it's for making them wide. Boo. It was funny when I, was first started making knives like I would uh, I would look at all these knives and they look the same 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 knife you know and then I seen Jason Knight's cookery and I was like no oh, that's a knife and so I worked my way I practiced on him and I finally got to cruise with him now he's one of the boys and we go hang all the time but I, I get to work with him and Really, there's an art to forging it. You see a lot of people do them, but there's like little things here and there, you know what I mean? And like, he just perfected it, bro. That guy is just a beast. Hey, so how was Vegas? <laughs> Vegas. <laughs> Vegas is Vegas. Wait, hold on, my in-laws here. <laughs> Vegas, baby! <laughs> nah, I don't know. I've been going SEMA like shit, like 10 years in a row. Uh, I've been part of Severtai's car club for years, and so we normally always go. It's a little weird with the time being. Uh, SEMA was pretty small, but it was fun. Like, I go there more for networking. Now I don't do cars all that much anymore, but all the knife making is relative, you know what I mean? And uh, got to meet some cool people. You know, but mainly it was just to kind of warm up the crew. Like, since we're starting a YouTube channel, we got Dane, or his identity needs to be secret, <laughs> Toy Monkey. Uh, we have Ashley, my son, Brian. And then, uh, so we're just kind of warming up the crew to like figure out what we're gonna do and how we're gonna do it in everybody's position, you know? So it was fun. You know, we kind of move around as a family, you know? So first night we land, uh, it's the Hennings uh, 10 motorcycles that changed the course of history for like choppers and motorcycles. And so my buddy is Christian Sosa. He's one of the best motorcycle builders in the world. And you know, he, uh, he invited me to this party and we got to go and his shop's like super cool. And I actually take lessons from Christian when I go to Vegas on, uh, on like his planishing hammer and shaping metal. The guy is like the master to shaping metal. Like his bikes, there's a motor and then he builds everything from there. It goes frame and then onto, 
you know, tank and fenders and, and brackets and pieces and every inch of it is just custom. And he's a super talented guy, humble, quiet. We kind of like have similar backgrounds. We just do hood sh Like that's what we do, but we do it well, you know. Yeah, so when I went to his shop, he was like using this like really long, weird slack grinder that was like homemade. And I was like, cuz you want a real grinder? So I called the boys, Kevin from Ameribraid, and they literally drove one down to his shop and hooked him up. It was dope. bikes are sick I mean you know these bikes are really important into the culture you know and and it was cool that you know it was something that hold on bro yeah. gotta make this thing straight <laughs> my eye only see like <laughs> I was gonna make a joke there bro what kind you cannot talk and walk at the same time nope I have to look at the knife this way. I cannot see the knife this way because I have slanted eyes. I have to look at it this way. <laughs> Bro, I can see this way. Turn the camera around so they can see your AG. Turn around, bro. Why are you scared, bro? <laughs> <laughs> now you're making me laugh when I say look at down this thing. Bro. Brian's favorite part of it was the tacos. Uh, there's like always good live music. There's good hot rods. There's good low riders. There's good customs. There's good everything. I mean, you know, Sosa's so good. He just has all his friends are just straight legends, you know. I didn't even go outside. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was like, just trying to get in. We just landed, was trying to get in and get out. But, but I, I mainly want to go see Sosa because we're gonna have a forge. I was gonna hold a private forging thing over at, at Vegas Forge, so I wanted to ask him if he wanted to go. You know, because uh, I I forged with him before and uh, he loves it. And we're kind of trading back and forth. Like he's showing me some skill set, I'm showing him skill set is good but I mean we all basically just live under a hammer you know that's it kind of like lost like I don't know like social media has like ruined it like god you see all the cars before you even go like you rarely because you know everyone has Instagram and everyone's posting it and then you see the thing whole built and that's a really cool side of it but when you get to SEMA you're like yeah there's a car and it's cool and then you can kind of see details and stuff it's cool but th those kind of shows like it's just kind of weird like and then and then like it gets flooded with all this weird like product that like you know like i don't know it's weird but this year was kind of cool because it was small there was no like overseas stuff aka no i'm just kidding <laughs> but i mean there was no like stuff like i don't know there wasn't a lot of aftermarket like cheap 
crap there and it was like some pretty serious guys there so it was cool like i actually got to spend some time you know it was funny when i was at sosa's party these guys came up to me and they were like oh hey you know we follow you on instagram and we like your stuff and we own this company viper chair and i was like oh my god bro like i totally knew exactly what chair they were talking about they're like u.s made chairs and like I don't know, like Wisconsin or something like that, but they're just like over the top. And I was looking at them, looking at them, interested in buying them and stuff. And I was checking them out. And it's so funny, I met them. Um, they're just kind of the creme of the creme. Like they're the best of the best that you can put in your shop, you know? And I'm kind of like that, you know, you buy one chair, you're good for life. I don't want to buy a bunch of shitty chairs on Amazon for the rest of my life. Just buy this chair and roll, you know? Um, and then, you know, so I had an appointment to go see them and go check their booth out. And then, and then it's so funny because Bailey Industrial was right next door and we got to talking to Shane at Bailey Industrial and that was like epic. They've reposted my stuff a few times and so I actually got to meet the guy and they're just a great company, you know, I mean, they've been around forever. They make great products. So, you know, with this YouTube, we're going to do like product reviews and stuff. So it was cool to talk to them because we get to do that now you know what I mean and you know and and you know my deal is is like you know if it works and it's good and it's legit like let's let's get it you know what I mean <laughs> you know and and then the other booth that we stopped at was Renegade Renegade is the is it same so combat abrasives is a sister company to renegade and so like combat abrasives is the company i work for so i know the family i've been friends with the family for a long time they're super good people i really enjoy like working with them they always kind of just you know if i need something they always help me out and they're good people and uh, you know and i've had a long relationship with them i, I started working with them like first two years of my knife making career and I started working with them not even maybe like the first year uh, and they started taking care of me right then and there they always invested in me then you know like I think I had like 5,000 followers or something or 3,000 or something you know what I mean and they were like oh no we want to pick you up on the team like instantly The only pictures I took pictures of was for my son Maddox, and he has the worst taste in the world. <laughs> like, I love like old school, like low riders, like vintage Cadillacs. If I see anything that looks like a cartoon, I take a picture of it and send it to him. He has the same taste in guitars, like they're super gross, but you know, it's all good. Ha <laughs> ha